time to turn things up. This pre-workout combination of Expedite and Aerobatine is the fat attack stack from Snack. I usually take both about 15 to 20 minutes prior to my workout. It's the perfect time to get out. What's up everybody, it's Ramlin Ralph. I'm here with the trainer of David Benavides and father of David Benavides and Jose Benavides Jr., Jose Benavides Sr. Jose, full circle brother. Uh, you guys started out at this gym when you guys first were all together learning about boxing. The story about you is well known. Uh, Self-taught as a trainer. Now you had two world champions as sons. And now you guys are back here. November 13th is the date. Both of your kids are fighting co-main and main event. How does that feel? Man, you know, words can't even describe what I feel, man. It's super exciting, super special day to day. Uh, they, they put a picture in this building of Junior, me, and uh, David. It's amazing, man. Uh, hard work pays off. Uh, I, I, like I said, I can't even express with words how I feel, you know. It's amazing. Uh, we're super excited to be fighting this Saturday. Uh, and if you can't go to the Suns Arena, you can watch it in Showtime. It's, it's fantastic, man. Super excited having my two sons fighting in the same car. Uh, we work hard, and we're here to give you guys a good show. Now, David is at the uh, summit of 168. Again, last last Saturday, uh, the fight with Canelo Alvarez and Caleb Plant. You watched the fight. What did you think about that fight? It, it was an exciting fight, man. Canelo is the monster, the uh, pound for pound, the best in the world right now. He's the king at 168. Uh, we're going to continue working hard. We're not looking at Canelo. We're not looking at nobody. Whoever put, they put in front of us, if it's time to fight Canelo, we'll definitely take that fight. Uh, but we're not aiming at Canelo. We're not focusing on Canelo. We're focusing on the fight that we have in front of us uh, November 13th and, and whatever comes. You know, we're ready. If he wants to fight tomorrow, we can do that. You know, uh, we're ready. We're ready to, to fight anybody at this, uh, at this moment. We're uh, ready to take big risk. And uh, uh, if that fight comes, but like I said, we're ready. If not, you know, we'll continue to uh, get more experience and hopefully one day it will happen. Uh, if it doesn't happen at 168, it might happen at 175. Uh, speaking of that, uh, there was questions earlier, David, about how long he thinks he can stay at 168. You know, we still have to remember that he's still in his 20s and he's still growing. How how much do you think this these camps can take a toll out on him and how long do you think he can stay at 168? I have no idea, man. He's doing really good at 168. He does 168 really good. I don't know, maybe next fight uh, he'll have problems. So far, so good. No signs of uh, of him uh, not losing the uh, weight at 168. Uh, but if for some reason uh, it, it becomes a little bit of a problem, definitely, you know, we're not going to take the risk. We're going to go to 175. Well, the reason I ask that is because yesterday David had mentioned that he is willing to kind of go through the gauntlet again, uh, the tournament, uh, so to speak, if they actually presented one, fight uh, Durrell again and go through these opponents to get to uh, becoming undisputed champion. Are you okay with that? Yeah, you know, me and David, you know, we and, and Junior, we, we, we don't choose our opponents. We fight whoever wants to fight. Uh, we'll fight Berlanga, we'll fight whoever, you know, is coming up, whoever wants the opportunity. Uh, we don't choose our fighters, you know, we, we're here to give the fans the fights that they want to see. Um, and like I said, if there's tournaments, or if there's whatever, we're here, man. We're focused, we're getting more experience, and uh, we're just here to give the, the fans what they want to see. Now today, the city of Phoenix, uh, with the mayor, came out and proclamated November 13th as David Benavidez Day, and it was special for all you guys. You got a brand new mural of the family right in front uh, that'll last an eternity. What does that mean, again, for, for this city, for you guys to take off, to come here, to basically teach yourself uh, the sport of boxing, and now you guys have your own day for your son and a mural out in front. You know, when they were presenting those awards, man, my heart, you know, it's so super happy, but at the same time, was beating too hard, super excited, super uh, motivated, super, you know, uh, like, like so many, so many things came to my head, man, you know, like a dream come true, you know, but at the end of the day, I feel super happy, uh, and we felt like uh, super special, and uh, um, I want to thank everybody for the support, and, and hopefully this, you know, can motivate other kids and trainers also, uh, that anything's possible, you know, I didn't know nothing about boxing, man, and, and look where we are now, so I think all these other young people and trainers can break our records too, you know, it can be done, well, and uh, if the motivation is there, they can do it. I'll tell you, you uh, talked to me a long time ago, and again, you've already said this story, so there's there's nothing to hold back on you. You know, you used to wait banquet tables, man, and you worked in that, and then you you wanted to learn, you wanted your kids to be safe, you taught yourself, and now you got two world champions, and hopefully you'll you'll, you'll have a third title here coming up. We want to yeah, congratulate you guys. You know, I mean, this is uh, I'm happy with what things are playing now. You know, we haven't done anything. Uh, we're going to continue working hard and, and improving ourselves, and uh, I think good things are going to come. We're just focused and dedicated and. And discipline, and that's that's a key to to 
uh, achieve more more big fights. And we'll be in the corner there for you watching on uh, Saturday as well as the rest of Phoenix and the rest of the world. We thank you for your time. We appreciate thank it. You.